what's up guys? Thanks for tuning into my channel. It's your girl Brett Johnson. Three days in a row. Like look at me. Am I can I get a pat on my own back? Because I never have I ever done three consecutive days. Like go me. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media at I am Brett Johnson. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe notification bell that is something that you need to do so you know every time I post because if you haven't been following me already I'm pretty inconsistent we're trying to change that I actually am posting this earlier than I would have normally posted it but you know this is just a surprise for you guys it's hump day so yeah you're welcome so today I'm gonna to be talking about the potential of an NFL bubble so as we know the NFL has not done a good job during this pandemic as far as trying to protect their players and coming up with an effective protocol in place to move the season forward. They have gotten a lot of backlash because of that and so they have tried to pick up the pieces and put a little bit of stuff into um, place in order to make players feel safer. I personally don't believe there is a safe way to play football. If you're going to play football, you're just going to play football. I don't think there's no there's any point in um, separating the locker room six or lockers six feet apart and doing all of that kind of stuff to then go on to a football field and be full contact with each other. It just doesn't make sense. Football is just not a sport you can safely social distance yourself from. Obviously, there are options for a bubble, which I'll talk about in just a minute, and um, that would probably be the only way to make it as safe of safe as possible, but I'll tell you why it couldn't possibly happen and give you a, an example of what it would look like. So um, I wanted to talk about this because there have been more than a few NFL players who have decided to opt out of this season um, because they don't feel safe playing. James Conner became the most recent player to opt out of this season. We all know his history. He is a cancer survivor, so um, he just didn't think it was a safe place for him to be because he is higher risk than a lot of the other players. There have been two Cowboys players, a receiver and a cornerback, people that aren't necessarily stars, so I'm not too worried about it as a Cowboys fan. Got to rep my Cowboys today. Um, there have been six Patriots players, like I said um, yesterday, that have decided to opt out, including stars like Patrick Chung and Donta Hightower. Hightower saying that he did not want to play because he just had a two-week-old baby and he didn't want to put his family at risk. Marquise Goodwin actually said the same thing. He did a video yesterday and put his baby in the camera and was like, I'm not playing for her. Like, I need to think about my family over football. So he decided to opt out of this season as well. Um, obviously, there are all the leagues that are in play right now, besides the MLB, are doing some sort of bubble. So the MLS, um, NBA, WNBA, and NHL are all doing forms of the bubble. MLB is not, and it is not working out very well for them. We know 14 players tested positive for the coronavirus on the Miami Marlins over the weekends, and they are not allowed to play the rest of the week. All their games were suspended. Yada, yada. It's just this whole giant mess. And they aren't even a contact sport. So um, to think about the potential of what could happen with the NFL, and we all know what have been, what's been happening in college with like teams like Clemson and LSU and Kansas State having like a, a large number of players test positive for COVID as soon as they started training again. It just, I, I don't know. Like you, for football, you just, if you want football to happen and you want it to happen safely, you have to do some type of a bubble. Okay, so I'll explain what I think that bubble would look like. So obviously you can't do a regular bubble because, I mean, together the, there's 22 teams in the NBA bubble right now, and each team is allowed to bring up to 37 um, players, staff, and um, coaches. 37 is the max, is people that they can bring. So with that, they're at like a little bit over, I think, 800 per, or 800 in the bubble right now. Um, if the NBA or the NFL were to do a bubble, unfortunately, there's too many people that need to be involved. So in order for them to hold a basic training camp, they would need at least 150 staff and players. And then obviously, after they do cuts, they can probably get that number down to closer to 100. 
32 teams. Add that up, that is almost 5,000 people that they need to put in a bubble. So it wouldn't make sense, and I don't think they have room to do one giant bubble. So what I kind of thought that they could do is for pods, just like they do with the Olympics. So you would have, I, I and I think this is how the pods work, maybe an NFC, NFC and AFC West, NFC, AFC South, and th those teams would be in a bubble together. So you would play your personal division twice like you normally do, so that's going to be six games, and then you can play the other division. So if you're in NFC East, you would play everybody in the NFC or in the AFC East, and that would be four games and four more games, so eight games total, which brings us to a 14-game season, including a bye week, so 15-game season. That's probably as close as we're going to get. And then at that point, you have a 1,000 people in a bubble. But it also, um, we're not talking about basketball courts. We're talking about football fields. And they would need to get more than several practice fields together so all the teams have chances to practice. Um, they would need to get um, fields for games. And everything needs to be at the NFL quality level. Like, so... You're going to need a space that can not only house all of these people, but has places to make s more than several football fields. The NBA bubble costs a billion dollars. An NFL bubble is going to cost roughly six to ten billion dollars at the least. And this is like not even, it just doesn't even seem feasible. It's not something that could possibly be done. So I understand why the NFL isn't doing a bubble. Um, the other option would be to maybe do two bubbles with NFC and AFC, and then you would play your division twice, and then you would kind of just pick and choose who you play to make, make up the rest of the season um, for your games in your division. Um, and, I mean, then at that point, maybe you don't see the other conference until – the Super Bowl, so all AFC just plays AFC, NFC just plays A NFC, and then they meet together for the Super Bowl for the NFC versus AFC championship winners. Um, but even still then, that's like 2,500 people in a bubble. And I just don't know how that is possible. Like, I don't know where they would go to even do something like that. So long story short, um, the NFL just can't have a bubble. As much as that's the only way that the NFL could safely have a season um due to the fact that like unlike the MLB they are a, they are a full contact sport so if MLB players are already testing positive in masses for COVID-19 in their first 72 hours of um their season starting I don't know how the NFL is going to get through a season um I just don't see it happening it's unfortunate I think they will start a season for sure um, but I just don't think it's going to end well. I just don't, I just don't, uh, I wish the NFL season or the NFL could get it together, but the NFL is just too much of a contact sport. So I just say, okay, you guys can continue with the daily testing and stuff. And that's something that you'll have to do throughout the season. I think I, I know they said they were going to do it every, every day for the first two weeks, but I think that's something you have to do the whole entire season if you want to even have a chance of competing this year and having some type of a, of a season is make sure you're nipping in the butt right away and any players that do test positive you remove them from the facility but doing the other little things like separating the lockers and the training facilities it just it's pointless it really is no masks need to be worn on the side this is a contact sport it's you're either going to be in a space with people or you're not going to be like who cares if you guys handshake after the game or not? Like, you guys just probably sweated and pissed on each other. But anyways, um, yes, that's what I think. Hopefully the NFL um, doesn't turn into a disaster this year because I think it could really um, honestly prevent a season for next year if it goes completely terrible. Um, but I want to know what you guys think. Do you have any options that you would like to see the NFL try for this season. Um, do you think the NFL will get through a season? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning into my video. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow me on all social media at I Amber Johnson. Happy hump day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.